Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess. Almighty God. God. And to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through, through my part, through my part, through my most grievous part. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me in the Lord of God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. By your help, we beseech you, Lord, our God. May we walk eagerly in the same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers the day I took them by the hand to lead them forth from the land of Egypt. For they broke my covenant, and I had to show myself their masters, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All from the least to the greatest shall know me, says the Lord, for I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt and of my sin. Cleanse me. Create a clean heart in me, O God. A clean heart create for me, O God and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgression your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Create a clean heart in me, O God. A reading from the letter of the, to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ Jesus was in flesh, 
he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son, though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Whoever serves me must follow me, says the Lord, and where I am, there also will my servant be. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feast came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it. And whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me. And where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. I am troubled now, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it was for this purpose that I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd there heard it and said it was thunder. But others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, this voice did not come for my sake, but for yours. Now is the time of judgment on this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. He said this indicating the kind of death he would die. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brother and sister in Christ, an old man, before he died, called all his relatives and asked them to grant him a couple last requests. So what do you request, Grandpa? They asked the man. The man answered, will you allow my right hand to hold a Bible whenever I'll be inside my coffin? This is to remind me of Jesus' promise about eternal life. Yes, Grandpapa. Absolutely. The old man continued, Will you allow also my left hand to hold a fork? The family members looked at each other, puzzling. Where in the world could you find a dead person holding a fork inside a coffin? The old man asked, Have you ever been invited to the banquet? He raised his voice. One of his young nephews 
answer. Yes, Grandpapa, I came to birthdays. I attend mom and dad's anniversaries. The man continued. Which part of the party that the best food is served? Without skipping a bit, the nephew answered, toward the end when the dessert is served. And the old man asked them again, and what are you going to use when the dessert is served? And they all answer, a fork. The man said the same thing with life. The best part is towards the end, not at the beginning when I'll be with my maker, my Lord Jesus. Now, brother and sister in Christ, the best part is towards the end. From today's gospel, some Greek asked to see Jesus. Jesus responded by saying that anyone who loves his life will lose it. To gain your life, you have to be like a grain of wheat, which would produce much fruit only by falling into the earth and dying. The Greeks could have been pretty puzzling and confused. What Jesus respond got anything to do with their request to see him? Well, first of all, we must realize the context of the story. Jesus and his disciples come to Jerusalem uh, right on the Feast of Passover. And this is the most important Jewish feast when Jews from all over the world are there to pray, to offer the sacrifices, and to pay the temple tax. The Greeks of Jewish descendants are there too. Chances are they heard about Jesus. They want to see and hear Jesus themselves. Today, Jesus specifically focused his words gearing toward the Greek philosophy. For in the Greek philosophy, there isn't much reference about dying to self or the sacrifice of one's own life for another. So Jesus' example about the grain of wheat bearing much fruit through dying is an excellent lesson and fitting image at the moment. And for Jesus' disciples, they must realize that God's way of thinking is often not in sync with the so-called logical thinkers like the Greek themselves. And they must realize that that's the way God thinks. And for the visiting Greeks, they've got what they asked for, and they found the true Lord Jesus. The true Lord Jesus didn't come to obtain high status or recognition or power over the people. The true Lord Jesus came to lose his life, to suffer, to die, like a grain of wheat, and so to, the, to produce much fruit. Now, brother and sister in Christ, as Jesus follows, we must imitate Jesus the best we can in such a way that it would provide food to be shared with other people around us. How often we ask ourselves, how do I share with, other, with others the fruit that I produce? through my choices of denying my usual self, and so to love other people. At times, many of us have done this. We might have ignored the immediate temporary rewards for a lasting and long-term prosperity. Most parents have gone through time when they would sacrifice their lives so that their children could have a better life and more opportunities in life than they are. I have experienced this firsthand myself. My parents left their own country, gave up their property and business, risked the danger of the stormy South China Sea, and escaped from the rising of the Vietnamese Communist government. So our family, all of us, can have the opportunity to freely practice our Catholic faith in America. Perhaps you have denied yourself and have done the will of God by caring for an elderly parent 
who in their old age need the constant care similar to when you once need as a baby. I know someone from our own community spending his own money, traveling 3,000 miles just to care for an old relative because no one else would have come. And so you sacrifice your own self like a rain of wheat that falls to the ground and dies. Your action will produce much fruit and blessing. Perhaps you are a teenager and you are determined to live a life of virtue and chastity when it seemed that no one else did. And you think you may pay a price for that. You will sacrifice your popularity to be in the mainstream with the crowd, the mainstream that call himself cool. And so you sacrifice your own self like a grain of wheat that falls onto the ground and dies. Your action, your sacrifice will produce much fruit and blessing. Perhaps you are the student and you have turned down a chance to get an easy A for an important test by cheating. You don't want to, right? And so you sacrifice your own self like a grain of wheat that falls to the ground and dies. Your action will produce much fruit and blessing. Now, brother and sister in Christ, let us think of the ways individually. How can we die for our own self? How can we have our own sacrifice a little bit, one day at a time, challenge ourselves in our daily, the best we can in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen? Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe, I believe in one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, and substantial with the Father. Through him all things we were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate, the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified, and upon his pilot, he suffered death, and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come, come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will come no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic as a church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. Amen. Jesus, who taught us how to pray, offered prayers and supplications to his father throughout his life. Following his example, we know take this time to offer prayers and supplications to our father. For the church, that we may die to sin and serve our Lord, becoming like grains of wheat, bearing much fruit in the world around us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the government and business leaders, that God will inspire them to develop and implement policies that are just and compassionate and bring hope to all, to all those who suffer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For victims of racial discrimination, that they might know success and justice as they struggle for equal treatment in the workplace, the community, and society. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For an increasing awareness in all people that we are all made in God's image, worthy of love and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the name of God may be glorified through the reverent worship, the compassionate mercy, and the selfless generosity of our faith community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the return of good health for all those who are on our parish prayer list on the altar. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of those who have died, especially Robert Conklin, Rudolfo Reyes, and for the comfort and consolation of the Holy Spirit for the families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For all our own needs and intentions, especially the blessing that we need most today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Heavenly God, you write your law upon our hearts. Give us the courage to follow your law of love, the willingness to die to self, the promise of eternal life with you. Hear this and all our prayers through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual ring. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of the sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as the true man, he wept for Lazarus, his friend, and as the Eternal God raised him from the tomb. Just as taking pity on the human race, he leads us by sacred mysteries to new life. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of excerpt praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the deep fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with our Pope Francis, our Archbishop Jose Homes, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of her face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed, jo blessed Joseph, his spouse, with all the blessed apostles and all the saints who have blessed you through the ages, you merit to be quiet to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, you may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another our sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul will be healed.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ, in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord. Thanks be to God.
sound 